<laughs> Let's talk about the weather. I know we can do that. Sure. Move on over, oh, uh, right. news people. Yeah, we've got a beautiful sunrise. Of course, this is our Keen Trace Barbasol camera, and it has been looking spectacular this week. It'll likely continue to look spectacular much of the week. And the problem, the concern here, is the possibility you get a big outdoor event, especially golf, and you're holding an iron rod over your head. You don't want to have any kind of thunderstorm chances. And uh, we'll check the possibility of that out in your eight day because it's just coming with in, within range. First, though, let's talk about what's going on in the Atlantic because we are still tracking Chris. Right there it is. Easy to pick out. That swirl of low pressure off the coast. And uh, if you drop a little farther even to the south, uh, southeast, uh, we've got what's left of uh, barrel coming across parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. But this very clearly a tropical system. It is trying so hard to get a uh, better, uh, better formed eye there. And it was looking like it was having some success. A lot of the deeper convection off on the south, southeast side of the storm will likely end up with a hurricane out of it. It's only four mile per hour, uh, four miles per hour shy of that status. 70 mile per hour winds from the National Hurricane Center. The five o'clock update, I was thinking they may bump it to a hurricane, but they're keeping it a tropical storm. The pressure's dropped a little bit and it's also tracking northeast, starting to pick up speed. And that'll happen as it intensifies. It'll pick up that forward speed and start to more rapidly track off to the northeast. And the Hurricane Center does bump it up to a one and eventually takes it well off into the North Atlantic. So U.S. landfall not anticipated. It'll graze uh, parts of Canada, New Newfoundland, and eventually go out in the North Atlantic. Here yesterday, tail end of an isolated shower, thunder shower chance. We had a little lightning there. And we'll see a number, another situation like that today. Now there's a cool front tracking through overnight. So as it drops south, clearly not a whole lot going on this morning. Although we do have an isolated shower, thunder shower chance this morning. Into the afternoon and evening, uh, you know, not much in the way of coverage, but if one pops up, you're going to get soaked. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. The cool front tracks south tomorrow morning. This is Wednesday morning, and it may be just enough to spark some isolated showers, thunder showers into our far southeastern counties late morning, early afternoon before that frontal boundary is finally out of here. Now, the one benefit, and boy, here comes the sun. Look at that uh, over Lexington, 72 degrees. One benefit, the dew point is at 70, which is some pretty muggy air. So it's warm, it's muggy. We'll have highs around 90 today. We're in the 70s now. The dew points are going to be in the 70s as well, which is some pretty sticky stuff. You're getting from muggy to the yuck territory. That cool front tracks through overnight, and look what happens. The humidity drops. It's not going to be a significant drop, but it will be a noticeable drop. The air will be a little more comfortable. Still just a tinge of mugginess tomorrow, but not as muggy as today. 90 for the high. Watch for those isolated showers and storms today, tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to top out around, well, the mid 80s. That's another benefit to that front. It'll drop the temperature a little bit, knock us down closer to our average. Into the weekend, the heat climbs. Not much in the way of shower or storm chances on the way, so some more hot summery stuff. Uh, multiple shots at 90 this weekend before shower and storm chances do start to crop up. So as you get closer to the opening of the Barbasol uh, tournament there, the competition, I'll have to closely track that possibility of some active weather.